Hey everyone, today's video is about how to migrate uh, MySQL database on EC2 to RDS. So I had already created my EC2 instance and um, hosted MySQL database onto it. So the next step is just to move MySQL database from my EC2 instance to RDS. So the name of our instance here is Explorer Channel and it's currently running. So I'm going to check if we have that database that I had created just to walk you through the process. So as usual, I'm going to connect to my instance. You just click on connect and then uh, after you click on connect, yeah, you'll, be lo you'll log in as an easy to use. So once logged in, it requires uh, us to enter password, log into MySQL servers. So this is the command that you're going to use. Remember to check the previous video on how to host MySQL database onto the EC2 instance. So I'm, go I'm just going to enter the password. Being told access denied. Mm -hmm. Okay. I think there's an error with the command. I've not included the, the user here. So I'm going back to the command again. So, yeah. I'm going to enter the password again. Yeah, I'm logged in. So I'm going to show, tab show databases just to confirm if the, the database that I created, if it's still there. Yeah, it's still there. So we have the EC2 database. So I'm going to quit this window. I'm going to quit this window. So clear screen. So I'm going first before we move um, our database, our EC2 DB, of which is created on my on uh, my SQL server so on EC2 instance. I'm going to create a backup first, and then move that backup to our RDS. Remember this uh, this our RDS that we've created. Uh, so once you finish creating an RDS, you'll use the configuration settings and connectivity and security settings to uh, help us move MySQL database on EC2 uh, onto the RDS. Remember we have uh, uh, DBSAN's uh, ideas RDS, we have the DB name as RDS. We're going to use the DB name, RDS DB. And the master username are just db so and also the endpoints very key here so those are the three things we are going to use the db name db master name master username i mean and also the endpoint so going back to this uh command line here I'm going to create a backup. This is the command that we're going to use to use a root and then password to. So, password is there. I'm going to enter the password again. Then, once I enter the password, it should be logged in. So, I'm going to ls to see if that backup has been created. You can see we have uh, we have this password backup created with spptk.sql. So I'm going to move this backup to my RDS using this command. So you have the endpoint here, password to the port, 
then user dsdb and then we have the database name db name as rdsdb and this is the backup that we had created so it will prompt me to enter the password then uh, yeah so i'll move the backup that we had created into our rds so i'm going to log into my rds and check if we have that backup moved so this one i'm going to do i'm going to run this command to log into my rds it will prompt me to enter the password yeah so i'm now logged into my rds uh, let me show the databases to see if uh, the database that I had installed on my EC2 instance has been moved to RDS. I mean, the one that I had hosted on my EC2 instance had been moved to RDS. Yes, you can see we have RDS DB. So I'm going to use R rds db show the tables we have the orders the order detail and the product so much of the table that we we saw initially uh, in my previous video on how to host my sql database onto an ec2 instance so if I say select select um is it select order table, select all um that's okay. do the same for the product table. We are good. So that's how you um, that's how you move your MySQL. That's how you move MySQL database of hosted on your EC2 instance onto RDS. So let me know if you have any questions in the comment section. Thank you all. See you to the next video.